Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to Morals and Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali. And now we are to talk about the importance of prayer. Every sin we commit inevitably leaves a black stain on our hearts. And as these dots or stains increase, our ability to say or do what is right somehow vanishes. These will consequently further deviate us towards other sins and full deeds. On the contrary, worship erase these stains which in return will erase the effect of these sins. This means that worship, prayer and remembrance of Allah efface the moral effects of sins and replace these with funds for virtue and goodness. In the Nahjul Balagha, there is a sermon which deals with Salat, Zakat, and delivering of trust. After emphasizing the importance of Salat, Amir al further says, Certainly, prayer removes sins like autumn strips leaves off from trees, and it liberates you from the rope of sins tied around your neck. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny linked it to a refreshing stream at one's door in which one takes a purifying bath five times a day and night. Will, after so much cleansing, any dirt remain on him? Also, a heart filled with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a heart that finds peace and tranquility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Noble Quran, those who believe and whose heart finds satisfaction in the remembrance of Allah for without doubt, in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find satisfaction. Salat is the most important act of worship in Islam. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the Salat, all other acts of worship will be accepted. But if the Salat is not accepted, all other actions will also not be accepted. Traditions have greatly emphasized on punctuality with regard to prayer times and performing it on time. One should not delay prayer without a valid excuse. Our guides did not ever miss the best time of prayer, even in the most difficult circumstances. This was embodied on the day of Ashura. It was reported that on the day of Ashura, at the time of Zawal, Abu Thamama al-Sa'idi came to the master of martyrs, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and said, O oh my master, we shall all be killed without any doubt. And the time for noon prayer has arrived, so you please lead us in prayer. This shall be our last prayer, and we hope that on this great occasion we meet the Lord and the occasion of having performed one of the religious obligations. The Master of Martyrs, Imam Hussain, lifted his head towards the sky and said, You have remembered prayer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include you among the praying ones. Yes, it is the time for prayer. Then he said, recite the Adhan, the call for prayer. Here, even in the most difficult circumstances, Imam Hussein salam, performed Salat. Individuals who consider their Salat to be unimportant or trivial are just like those who have not performed their Salat at all. With this, we hope that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the strength to perform our Salat in a punctual and proper manner. Respected viewers, we reach the end of our show for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching and don't forget the du'a to hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time, His Majesty Imam al-Mahdi may Allah hasten his reappearance. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.